Welcome, friends and fellow collectors. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, I have a very special treat for you and a model that is one of my favorites, given my uh, history and connection with law enforcement. This is the 150th scale NYPD ESS-14 Hazmat Command Truck, which is a 2007 Ferrara Igniter Hazmat Command Vehicle. The fire replicas item number SKU is FR086-14. This model retails for $299, and it's one of only 250 that have been made. As of the time that I am filming this video in early 2024, this truck is still available from the Fire Replicas website, so all you got to do if you want one, click on the link in the video's description. Okay, let's get on with the unboxing chapter now. Again, you should be familiar at this point, but if you're not, if you're a new, a new viewer, this is the style packaging that all Fire Replicas models come in. You can see the Fire Replicas logo. On the side of the box is the item number, and then if we very carefully flip the box over to see the bottom of it, this is where you have your different licensed information, including New York City, Ferrara, and Fire Replicas. You can see that this was released back in 2020. To unbox the model, make sure you have it on its bottom portion here, where you can lift up the side and flip it open just like this. And once you get it open... You are greeted with a sheet of paper that says congratulations on your fire replicas purchase and it goes into detail on how to get the model out of the box i will kind of show you what i do which is similar to what the instructions tell you to do there are a total of six of these foam pieces that you need to remove one on each side that's four one on the bottom and then one on top again for a total of six so let's take these out first and once you have these out, or at least five of the six, you can leave the sixth one on the bottom. That one really doesn't matter. Uh, but you are greeted with the, uh, the top of the acrylic case, the display case. And you can see the black ribbon. Now, those ribbons are basically lifting straps, if you want to steal a terminology from cranes. So lift it up by the lifting straps. Do not lift it up by the acrylic cover. Make sure you got a hand underneath it just to have that little bit of extra assurance. The last thing you want to do after you pay $300 for one of these models is obviously mishandle it and break something. These are extremely high level detail resin models. So there are several pieces that are very breakable. So just pay attention to what you're doing and show the model some respect. With the acrylic cover off, you can remove the straps from the bottom. And finally, you are ready to display your model. Okay, before we check out this truck and all of its detail, I want to give you a very brief synopsis of the Emergency Service Unit of the New York City Police Department. It is part of the NYPD's Special Operations Command. There are several different ESSs, or Emergency Service Squads. I think there's a total of 11, plus a couple other trucks. And then you have ESS-14, which is this truck. This is the, uh, the hazmat truck. So... ESU responds to a wide range of incidents, including barricaded persons, hostage rescues, hostage situations, hazmat, WMD threats, counterterrorism, search and rescue, and many others. ESU was formed on the 10th of April, 1930, and as of 2023, has 390 paid officers. This truck in particular, the hazmat truck, would respond to all chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, and explosive incidents, and it also would assist the bomb squad and EOD units on suspicious packages. All right, that's a little bit of info about the, the real truck and ESU. Let's turn our attention now to take a look at the model. Here's the base which, with the etched through nameplate. The light catches it just perfectly. New York City Police Department ESS-14, 2007 Ferrari Igniter Hazmat Command Truck. Let's start off with the top of the truck going over those details. Here you can see the various different lights, the AC unit, the fans, the antennas, which again are perfect and to scale. Moving along, we can see the diamond plated texturing for the top of the truck. Here's a window right here, uh, which if you look closely, you can see down into the truck. Hopefully you guys can see that. Again, there's another look at the top of the, the vehicle. Moving towards the back now, so very similar to an FDNY rescue truck, most of the guys would enter and uh, exit via the rear door. You have a etched through and stainless steel walkway at the bottom. You can obviously make out the very crisp decals, whether they be emergency service unit, NYPD, police, etc., etc. This is the ESU 
um, or I'm sorry, this is the New York City Police Department logo. This is the ESU logo, which you'll see a bigger one here in just a minute. Uh, but I love that old ESU logo with the classic police car. The black pieces here, those are your bumper protection bars, and obviously you can see the lights with individual lenses on them. Moving along now to the right side of the truck. Obviously, the uh, blue decals are really, really amazing to look at on a white truck. They are very, very clear, and you can make them out. Let's zoom in now to the uh, ESU logo, which I promised you I'd show you, which is this one right here. You can make out the vintage car. Police Emergency Service, and this is the NYPD logo. The, uh, the slogan of the New York City Police Department is CPR, and no, it's not what you do when somebody stops breathing. It actually stands for Courtesy, Professionalism, and Respect. You can see the various diamond plate texturing on the side of the truck, the white wheels and wheel hubs wrapped in black rubber, uh, all the different cabinets and uh, different ways to open the cabinets, as you can see. Uh, we have more stainless steel etched access steps. This fan, or I should say this, this grill, if you will, uh, is actually perforated through. All of those are individual holes. It's not a decal. And you can see the various ports here. These yellow pieces are where you would plug things in. The silver stainless steel piece, that's a footstep that would fold down. Moving along to the cab of the truck, here's a mirror. All of the hubcaps, um, or the lug nuts, I should say, on the, on the wheel, those are actually black painted. So really looks quite impressive. Obviously, the axle hub is blue. Once again, police, New York City logo. Moving along now to the front of the truck. Once again, we're greeted with 5514, NYPD police, and the couple different logos that I mentioned. Uh, you do have the, the federal siren on this truck, and obviously a chrome bumper. And I do like the fact that they have small mirrors here as well. The interior of the truck is extremely detailed, but very hard to get on camera, especially since most of the interior is black. But once you have it in person, it is pretty impressive to look at. Back now to the left side of the truck, pretty much the same as the other side. Obviously, a couple of the cabinets are a little bit different, uh, but for the most part, again, it's very similar to what we saw before. Measurements for this model. I know a lot of people are into that kind of thing. If you leave it on the base, which these models are intended to be left on the base, not played with, nothing on here is functional, but the display case dimensions of the vehicle on the base, 10 inches long, 5 inches wide, and 5 inches tall. If you want to unscrew the truck and take it off the base, the model's actual dimensions of the truck itself, 8.25 long, 2.5 wide, and 3 inches tall. All right, that'll wrap up another Fire Replicas product review here on Diecast Emporium. I... It almost leaves me speechless having one of these in my collection, let alone an ESU truck. Uh, I am a New York native. I have a lot, of a lot of connections to the police department and the fire department in New York. Um, and having one of these trucks really means a tremendous amount to me, and I will forever proudly display it in one of my prominent display cases that you, one of the first things you see when you come into my place. Check out your screen right now for all of the other Fire Replicas products that I have reviewed recently, several FDNY trucks, and obviously now we have a New York City police vehicle that I can add to that playlist. So let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.